about U.S. support, okay, for the state of Israel. As you know, they've given them so much money, billions and billions of dollars, all these different weapons. When Israel invades Lebanon, when they bomb civilians in, in, in Lebanon, when they commit genocide in Gaza, that is not Israel alone. That is the United States as well. The United States is complicit. They've given them all the weapons. They've given them all the diplomatic and political cover. They've given them all the money in the world. That includes Kamala Harris, and if elected, Donald Trump would do the same, Okay. They're giving them a ton of money. Congress is complicit. The Senate is complicit. The president is complicit. Okay, the United States is complicit. And of course, they have those OFEC satellites. The United States has even more. And they're giving that data in real time to Israel. So whenever they assassinate someone, the United States definitely knows whatever they say. They're lying. And just the other day, as if they didn't need more money, Israel says it secured an additional $8.7 billion in U.S. aid from the United States. And here you can see the package includes $3.5 billion for essential wartime procurement, which has already been received, and earmarks for critical military purchases, and $5.2 billion designated for air defense systems, including the Iron Dome, David Sling, and, and an advanced laser system. Now, there's a couple things to know. First of all, the United States is complicit. The other thing is, why does Israel need $5.2 billion designated for air defense systems? Because Hezbollah and the Houthis have been chipping away at their air defenses. Israel is running low on air defenses. Unfortunately, they just got re-upped. So the hope, okay, and we'll talk about this strategy later on, but I'll summarize it quickly in case you log off. You better not log off, though. The strategy is for Hezbollah to stretch out their capabilities of rockets. Not fire them all at once, but fire little by little to keep the north empty. And complete and continue to drain these resources, okay? But they just got re-upped on those resources. Now, let's read this tweet by Mel. I follow her on Twitter. She follows me back. She's been great. Follow her. Uh, her uh, handle is Village Crazy Lady. And she produces a lot of uh, good tweets on, on this kind of information. She says, Lloyd Austin has decided that 50,000 American troops in the Middle East isn't enough to ensure Israel's absolute right to bomb as many women and children as it pleases. So he's ordered up a few thousand more just now. We cannot mobilize tens of thousands of troops to help pull our own goddamn citizens out of flood-ravaged regions across the south, but you can bet your bottom dollar we can send them to sit on their asses in the Middle East and Cyprus and the Mediterranean in case the Iranians get any wild ideas. The only things this good-for-nothing government knows how to do anymore is make war and traffic humans. This, this is the absolute state of America in 2024. And then she posts an article. The U.S. is sending a few thousand more troops to the Middle East to boost security. Okay. Now, I want to show you, okay, uh, she's talking about the, fl the, the southern regions of the United States ravaged by a hurricane, okay? I'm going to show you this hurricane. This is the time lapse of the hurricane that just hit the United States. I live in Florida, so luckily this just missed us, but it basically made landfall in southwestern Florida, and then it pushed up north to Georgia, then it hit South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, and has been wrecking those states. Those states are not like Florida. They're not used to hurricanes. Our state is, okay? So we have like the electric companies and the state, they're always prepared on how to quickly cut down trees, remove trees, fix down power lines. These states they're not as used to this because they think Florida takes the brunt usually before they get the storm. Well, because it made landfall in the southwest of Florida, it had little land uh, to go through. So it maintained a lot of its strength before it got to them and just ravaged them. OK, so this is a map of the power outages. Check this out. I had no power outages down here in southwest Florida. OK, but northern Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, even all the way up to Virginia major power outages some people don't have electricity for a week okay so in south carolina over a million people do not have power georgia nearly a million people north carolina nearly nearly a million even in ohio 200,000 people don't have power and it's caused by uh well, actually i don't know if ohio is caused by the storm but uh this storm did some serious damage okay now let's listen to this clip joe biden how he responds when people say uh, is there any more money to help these people? Look what he says. One second. Look what he says. Are there any more resources the federal government could be giving them? No, we've given them, we have pre planned a significant amount of it, even though they didn't ask for it yet. Had, hadn't asked for it yet. <laughs> All right, let's play it again. 
and let's listen to what he said, okay? She's like, there are millions of Americans that have just been ravaged. Do we have any more money for them? Let's, look, let's listen to what he has to say. Okay, no, we don't have more resources. We just gave Israel 8.7 billion, but uh, yeah, here's some chump change for actual fucking Americans, excuse my language. This guy says, Ukraine got 200 billion, Hawaiians got $700, North Carolina storm victims will get, now he's forgetting uh, to mention Israel, which a lot of Americans conveniently do for some reason. They don't like giving Ukraine money, but they don't mind giving Israel money. Um, but yeah, you get the point.